My name is Hardy Brown, and we're gonna have a conversation today on historical empathy and the resilience of the human spirit, right here on 21st Century Dialogues. So this is Alabama Code of Law, 1855. And I know this is gonna be a little touchy, but it's primary source in its history. We can't run from it. We need to learn from it. In the section right before slaves, it's patrols. What is a patrol? All white male owners of slaves below the age of 60 and all other free white persons between the ages of 18 and 45 who are not disabled are subject to perform patrol duty. Look at 59. The patrol has power to punish slaves found under the circumstances recited in the preceding section by stripes not exceeding 39. When they say lashes on their back, what they're talking about is this. Thirty-nine lashes. I don't even feel comfortable touching that even with gloves on because I can imagine how many times that thing was used. This was an evil punishment. Mm -hmm. But again, you read it in the book. It's done by law. So let's, let's break that down. They didn't want them to preach or teach. Why? They would start to like realize like that they could get more people to run or be stronger to, you know, fight, fight back in a way of like protesting nowadays mm -hmm. and like speaking up for themselves. Mm -hmm. if, if people were to start to preach or to teach, yeah, knowledge is power. Mm. Which means they would have had that power to, to rise up. But also, be... preaching and teaching, and seeing someone do it humanizes them. So in order that for yeah. someone to be another person, you have to take away their humanity and like, I guess submit them into a position where they cannot represent their intelligence. And just think of this, by reading scripture, mm. they get this thing called hope. Mm -hmm. The hope that they can make it out of this. Mm. They find people that are in the same situations in this holy book that are just like their situations. And they believe that God one day will also deliver them to freedom. That's one of the powerful reasons why you don't allow preaching because you create this rebellion mindset and this rebellion mindset is we want this thing called freedom. Now this particular one, uh, we know that it's old and we're still doing the research on it, but the powerful thing with this is it said on there some of the same pieces that are there. You, you can pick this one up. This would have been a neck shackle and this particular neck shackle, they're selling horses and Negroes at the same time. It's 1854. What state is it in? Alabama. That state one's Alabama. Alabama. Yep, that one's Alabama. So as you can see how that would have locked that in, they would have taken away any hope of the future. It helps you to understand that this was really a system, that even if people wanted to be on the right side of history, they had to really be strong and choose. Now, here's the good thing. There's some people who chose to be on the right side of history. There's some people who chose to be on the right side of history and we have examples of those people. And today we can take those examples and use those same examples and say, if they can do it, mm -hmm. then so can I. 